If you've been to the grocery store in recent weeks, then you know that your bill has been a lot higher than you're used to. And according to a new report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, those prices are only going to climb higher. What we've seen over the past year is food prices have shot up dramatically. The U.S. Department of Agriculture put out its food prices outlook for the year, and it noted a spike in food prices across the board. Uh, most notable prices in meat, prices for beef and veal going up more than 16%, prices for poultry going up 12%, prices for things like fish and seafood going up 10%. A lot of restaurants are paying these same higher prices for different food, and as a result, in most cases, a lot of those costs go directly to the consumer, which means you're going to be paying more when you uh, go to a restaurant. This is definitely unprecedented, and a lot of it is linked to inflation. Inflation has been at its highest levels in 40 years, um, and that's one of the reasons why we're seeing food prices go up. There have been several different factors that have contributed to this. We also have the conflict going on with Russia and Ukraine, and that's having an impact on food prices. There's also some more specific things happening as well. When you're looking at the prices of poultry and eggs, for example, um, there is an avian influenza outbreak, and that has contributed to a spike in the cost of eggs and poultry. There's a lot of different things happening and coming together, and that's what's causing prices in food to go up dramatically. Unfortunately, this is something that's not going to go away anytime soon, and in fact, it is likely to get worse. Um, the outlook put out by the USDA pointed out that um, all food groups have seen an increase in prices, and it's expected to climb even higher through the rest of the year. And again, there are certain categories we're going to see higher increases than others. Poultry, for example, eggs, fish and seafood, fats and oils, things like that are rise in price much higher than maybe some other categories. But across the board, we're going to be paying more for food. People are spending more at the grocery store and they're paying more for gas. Um, we could see Americans really cut back on spending and saving more, which then has another effect on the economy because Again, as consumers are spending less, we'll see a little bit of a slowdown in the economy potentially. So that's something important to watch if food prices continue to climb and gas prices continue to stay as high as they are. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.